Hello there, my fellow learners. Thanks for joining me here as we begin our pursuit of uh, this very challenging area called rhythm and meter. Rhythm is simply the arrangement of stressed and unstressed syllables. And when that arrangement follows a regular pattern, then technically we call it meter. Now all of these 22 words or short phrases or sentences are intended to follow a meter that is a regular pattern. Occasionally that's going to give us some challenges and may require us to give some stress or emphasis to a syllable that if we said the sentence more naturally might not receive that emphasis. We'll illustrate that in just a moment. Let's take a look at the first one and today you're, you're concerned with marking the stressed and unstressed syllables. Let's look at number one, a short phrase, a balloon. A balloon. You should hear, although I gave a little greater emphasis than normal, one syllable receiving the greatest amount of stress. Let's skip down to number three here, a two-syllable word. This ought to be an easy place to start. Cloudy. Cloudy. Now, we don't have a pattern, of course. We don't have a repetition of the series of stressed and unstressed syllables, but it does follow one of the four principal meters identified on your information sheet. Let's take a look at number two because this, this one is somewhat problematic. If I said it more naturally in a, in a prose fashion, buddy could you spare a nickel? Buddy could you spare a nickel? I'm going to have a series of unstressed syllables in the middle there that sort of interrupts the flow or any regularity to the pattern. So let me take the word could and give that a little more punch, a little more emphasis, and see as you mark it if you don't recognize now a regular pattern. Buddy, could you spare a nickel? Buddy, could you spare a nickel? Let's skip down to number four here. And again, I might be tempted to say it one way that sort of interrupts my, my regular pattern. Could you give me a hot dog with sauerkraut miss? Now granted, we can say this almost any way we want, some of which will sound ridiculous, and I know this can be frustrating. But listen carefully as I pronounce this a second time, and go ahead and mark your line and see if you don't recognize a regular pattern. Could you give me a hot dog with sauerkraut miss? It's almost sing-songy, isn't it? Could you give me a hot dog with sauerkraut miss? Could you give me a hot dog with sauerkraut miss? Number five. I might be tempted to sort of lay off the short word in, giving it an unstressed indicator there, such as, hasn't Charlie handed in his homework? Hasn't Charlie handed in his homework? But as I do that, I notice I sort of interrupt the pattern. Now today we're looking at regular meter. Later on we'll talk about variations. But let's go ahead and mark this with stress over in, like this. Hasn't Charlie handed in his homework? Number six. You're probably thinking this is very true about this exercise right about now. Headaches are a problem. And again, notice I gave emphasis to this little word. Headaches are a problem. Number seven, I'm going to give some emphasis to this little word. I woke up early in the morning. It was hot. I woke up early in the morning. It was hot. Let's scan down. Is it early or late? Is it early or late? Number nine. Is that a dog? Is that a dog? Number ten. It isn't all that hot. It isn't all that hot. Again, I'm affecting the way I say these a little bit to make the regular pattern stand out for you. Number 11, it's a big one. You have two emphasized syllables in that line. Number 12, it's a wonderful day to make pie. 
It's a wonderful day to make pie. Number 13. Be careful with counting syllables, particularly in this last word here. Johnny did well at the rodeo. Johnny did well at the rodeo. You should have three syllables in this sentence receiving the stressed indicator. Number 14 here. We're going to have to scan over here. I don't know if I can fit it all in. Sorry about that. Make a wish on a star and you'll get what you wish for by dawn. Hmm, that doesn't quite follow that regular pattern. So let's de-emphasize a word that we might ordinarily give some stress to, that first word there, make, and try that again. Make a wish on a star and you'll get what you wished for by dawn. Make a wish on a star and you'll get what you wished for by dawn. Number 15. Maybe it isn't too late to forgive you, though. This is a strange one. Maybe it isn't too late to forgive you, though. The series of two unstressed at the end makes this sentence die off and sound irregular. But trust me, it does follow a regular pattern. Number 16. Saturday is bingo night in Honolulu. Saturday is bingo night in Honolulu. And let's take the last stretch here. Susanna ate a donut with her tea. Notice the stress on this small word. Susanna ate a donut with her tea. Again, what I'm going to attribute some stress where it might not ordinarily fit because sometimes the, the pattern, the meter, becomes fairly strong and that will influence us to read a line with an emphasis in some places that we might not typically attribute one to. Number 18, Sylvia's angrier. Sylvia, three syllables, angrier. Sylvia's angrier. Number 19. Terrible weather made grandmother sadder and crabbier. Terrible weather made grandmother sadder and crabbier. Number 20. Today. Today. Number 21. Yesterday. And let's finish up here. Number 22. You've got to walk before you fly. You've got to walk before you fly. I hope you don't are not left wishing to crawl away from this whole pursuit of marking stressed and unstressed syllables. It is challenging. Hang in there. Listen again as you need and bring this back next time and we'll, we will start to put names to these regular patterns and more importantly talk about so what? We can name it. What's the effect?